I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! Colonel Sanders, my old friend I've come to eat with you again Because a hunger softly creeping Left me drooling while I was sleeping And the hunger could be sated by just one vice Your herbs and spice Within the sounds of chickens Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane and I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician, because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here, and that's why this week I am reacting to two songs by Tom Carty. Uh, we're doing Let the Children Watch, and we're also watching uh, Tom's collaboration with Twerp and Montaigne. It's actually a Twerp song that... Tom and Montaigne feature on called Online. If this is your first time joining us, yes, I am a comedy musician and I react exclusively to comedy music because that is where my field of expertise lies. What this means to you is that I'm going to pause the video. Kind of a lot, actually. Uh, mostly so that I'm not talking over or laughing over the jokes and the songs and missing them. This way I can also uh, talk about it a bit more, analyze it, give my analysis, my perspective as a comedy musician, which means sometimes analyzing the jokes, the structure of the song, how the video and lyrics work in tandem. Uh, sometimes that means even explaining the jokes, because that's always fun for people, and sometimes it means just sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot, whatever you're going to get, but I think it's a good time either way. If you like that kind of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my comedy and music early, that's right, I am a comedy musician, and all sorts of other cool things like that. Anyway, all of that out of the way, let us dive into these videos. Now, yes, these videos are a little bit older. Uh, by probably a couple months by now. I took a break before reacting to these. These had come out before I had taken my break, but I'm getting to them now. Uh, and so, two in this video. The first song, uh, Let the Children Watch, is a shorter song, about a minute and a half. I usually don't do things under a minute, uh, just because it doesn't seem like there's enough to react to there. A minute and a half, somehow that extra 27 seconds or whatever is enough for me to react to. I don't understand my methods either sometimes. Uh, online, I've heard the song because it's on Twerp's new album, which is fantastic. Twerp is not a comedy band. They are associated with a comedy band. They're, they have, are uh, often, not always, but often the band that performs with Ninja Sex Party when Ninja Sex Party has a full band performing with them. Uh, they're on about half of the songs on NSP's new album. Uh, but uh, they're not traditionally a comedy band by themselves, though they do have both Tom Carty and Jazz Emu on the new album. So online is kind of partially comedy. So that's why we're going to be taking a look at it here, also because Tom released the video for it. I've, I've babbled enough. Let's dive in. Hey there, Treehouse Gang. It's 3.30, which means it's time for your favorite pair of the most unlikely best friends, <laughs> Bill and Ben. So it's a kid's show, I guess. Um, let the children watch the kid's show. That makes sense, kind of. Uh, I love how we're defining different characters uh, just by outfits. Tom doesn't usually use a lot of wigs in his videos. Um, it's just different outfits to define different characters, and sometimes uh, the uh, less is more element works there. Uh, I know a lot of people who, who you know, character, uh, performers like Value Select will do a lot of green screen videos and plays all the characters in his videos, and usually that means different outfits and wigs to differentiate. Tom doesn't bother with wigs, and that's fine. Uh, the most he's done, I think, was shave for two different characters. Santa had a mustache, and I think Jeffrey the Elf didn't in the Naughty or Nice song. But with all the sound effects here, clearly we're doing a children's show. I warned you I'd pause right away and talk a lot. Well, my name's Bill, my name's Ben, together we are best friends. I wake up at 9am and I wake up 
seven, six, ten. I think it's better than me. No, don't. Don't do this. <laughs> Uh, ben wakes up at 610. I like you know the weird, not expected rhymes that Tom will throw into his songs because uh, everything sounds conversational. He's got you know, sometimes playing two different characters and they're talking back and forth and even the rhymes where he's just you know the only person character singing, uh, they sound more conversational and they're, the rhymes come in in places where you don't expect them, and I, I always appreciate that style of writing in his songs. And also, uh, this reminds me a little bit of the Best Friends song that he did uh, before with, uh, God, I cannot remember the person's name, but I haven't react, uh, reacted to that one before on the channel, and that is in the, the Tom Cardi playlist. Uh, but uh, this reminds me of that, where like the two characters bickering in their own song, um, Got to enjoy that kind of thing. Okay. My name's Bill. And my name's Ben. And together we are best friends. I drink a beer every day with my friends. And I say drinking until the weekend. See, you're fucking better than me, you can't. I'm just say like... <laughs> very, very Australian. Uh... <laughs> Children's show. It says, let the children watch, and immediately we've got an F-bomb and a C-bomb, and the C-bomb was bleeped, because it, outside of Australia. Um, hooray. Just, uh, just so good. So good. I love it already. Okay. My name's Bill. And my name's Ben. And together we are best friends. I drink a beer every day with my friends. And I say drinking until the weekend. Think you're fucking better than me, you can't. I'm just saying what I do, you know that's how the song works. You say what you do, and I say what I do. If you don't like it, don't set me up for it. <laughs> the cutaways. The reaction shots to the band, which is still Tom, playing the bass, and the cutaway of what is clearly supposed to be the kids that are cheering, which is just Tom in shorts, sitting there going, uh, what's happening? So good, so simple, and so great to have that just work along that way. All his videos always take place in, in his studio here. Uh, where he always plays the instruments and everything and just sets up usually the camera in the same spot But it, it's so effective as a Brand which sounds stupid to say but you recognize the Tom Cardi video because they're where Tom Cardi videos take place and uh, You know, I appreciate that kind of synergy between all of them. Yes using the big words like branding and synergy obviously things that are very important in comedy music I uh, <laughs> I'm recording this late at night, and uh, uh, just my brain is is already pudding, so that's going to make this fun, I think. I don't know what's happening anymore. What is my life? We're moving on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect to follow that. My <laughs> <laughs> um... I, it's already funny, but the irony in my brain of me when I run out of things to say, I just go, uh, and the fact that he's doing it because he's mad at Ben and doesn't feel like playing along with the theme of the song anymore, where we're talking about what we do, is just, the synergy there was so good. And again, I've used synergy and I, I shouldn't have, but it was, it, it's just too perfect. It aligns so well with what I said and then what they did, and I like it. I like it when that happens. And also, just without me doing what I do, that is just inherently funny. It's you. you it's a short song. We're 46 seconds. 46 seconds. I speak goodly. We were 46 seconds within to this song, and we've already established the baseline in two verses of Bill and Ben arguing by, you know, you know, Bill is so insecure that he thinks Ben is trying to one-up him every time. So he's just, like, given up by verse three. It's a children's song. Clearly. We're gonna take it back a little bit, check it out from before that, where I'm, like, not blabbing about stuff. It's good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> My name's Ben. Best friends. I am currently <laughs> 
single. <laughs> set up? That's, is that set up for you? I am single. <laughs> My relationship status is single. <laughs> And Ben's uncomfortableness, obviously going to be a precursor for something opposite of what Bill has as far as a relationship status. That's, it's palpable. You can, ah, uh, you can feel it. You, you kind of know what's going to come next. I'm very recently single in a four-bedroom <laughs> home, a large four-bedroom home. I'm very recently single. No, He's going through it. Don't change the base. Don't look. We can't keep the same. <laughs> it's another thing I love: self-awareness in a song, where they realize, you know, they know they're singing a song. They've said so in the song that we're singing a song about what we do and what our deal is and whatnot. Um, singing to the band. Don't change the bass. No, go, go back to the way the bass was before. You don't need to change things up. Things are not weird and awkward and needing for change to get our minds off of the weird and awkward things. No, keep it the way it is. We're going to focus on this weird and awkward thing. I love it. Pointing out like where a key change is coming into the song, being self-aware and, and referencing that you or yourself are singing a song. I love that kind of thing. A little bit of meta stuff goes a long way with me. Uh, as far as comedy goes. A lot of the movies, if the movie is meta and has a lot of self-aware stuff in it, I dig that. It's a personal preference, but for me, good comedy. Not too much, but just enough of the meta. I dig. Don't change a thing. Until this cunt... <laughs> 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 the censoring too late <laughs> it cuts to him hitting the bleep button on the on the laptop too late after he says it uh, this is why broadcasters by the way uh, broadcast if they're broadcasting live they're actually on a 7 second delay in case somebody does slip up and say something that the FCC uh, doesn't allow. Uh, this way they have the time to bleep it, so by the time it reaches you in your uh, room, wherever you're either watching or listening to something, this applies to radio too, uh, this is the way that, that that is then censored, so you're actually not hearing the bad words, uh, and the station is not getting sued by the FCC for allowing that bad word to be aired. Things are on a seven-second delay, usually, so that they have time to bleep things or cut things out uh, before it reaches the airwaves for us to hear and see. Um, the delay on that uh, just means somebody's finger wasn't ready on the button. They weren't expecting it. And having that be a part of the song and having that be specifically part of the video where you see him hit the button later. Genius. So good. We're going to take it back a little bit here because I'm, I'm just appreciating all the awkward. And Tom is doing, Tom, clearly very skilled comedian, improviser, actor, uh, doing some great facial expressions as different characters. You can tell each one is a different character, not just by the outfit or what they're carrying, but in the way that they're reacting to these things. And that is uh, another effective way of carrying the comedy through these situations. Uh, I dig all of this so much. Don't change the base. Don't change the base. <laughs> keep the same. Don't change a thing until this cunt <laughs> says his bit. <laughs> I am single. single. I'm living with Bill's ex-wife and kids. Tear your face off. You know how this song works, dude. <laughs> They set it up so beautifully. He said he is living in an empty four-bedroom house that didn't used to be an empty... that, that he's now single in a four-bedroom house. I didn't make the connection that the four bedrooms were all occupied by people. Cause sometimes you can turn a bedroom into an office. That's what's happening in this room. Uh, but 
I didn't make that connection, and I really didn't expect. Like, I, I should have, maybe, but didn't expect that the reason he's single is that because Ben is living with his ex-wife and their three children. Three! That's the four bedrooms. Because, obviously, Bill and his wife lived in the same bedroom, and it... Yeah. Holy shit. Phenomenal. And that's right at the end of the song. It's literally the last second of the song. Uh, I gotta, I gotta take it back just a second here. Oh, right to where the beep comes late. My laptop almost looks like mine. All right, anyway. It's not, though. I think that's an Apple one. Anyway, I was looking at the keyboard. Whatever. Says his beep. I am single. And I'm living with Bill's ex-wife and kids. Tear your face off. You know how this song works, dude? And that is absolutely the end of it. Holy crap. So good. You know how the song works, dude, and it just ends. Also, the threat of I'll tell you, tear your face off. Sure, that's good. I, uh, Face Off is a great movie. Uh, uh, Nicolas Cage and John Travolta acting their guts out like each other uh, is brilliant and the pinnacle of cinema. I know that has nothing to do with this video here, but I felt like saying it because Face Off. Face Off. Um, I like 90s weird action movies. Anyway, let's move on to the next song, which we clearly have already done. Um, and also, clearly, uh, Twerp has filmed in the, <laughs> in the vertical the same way that Tom Carty does, so this whole video is going to be cell phone shot the way that all of Tom's videos are. This is fantastic. This is a song from Twerp's new album, Digital Nightmare. It's called Online. A lot of the songs, if not most of the songs, on that new album are about kind of the online world and the digital world and how much that's influencing our lives and whatnot. Um, and uh, this, it's a great album. Very, it seems very much like a concept album since all the, the songs kind of are along that theme of digital. Um, but this is a great tune. Tom Cardi and Montaigne teaming up together, of course, uh, is always great. They've done it a few times now. Uh, of course, the first being, the first that we know of anyway, being Red Flags, which Tom Carty won a Logan Award for, for the uh, animated music video, which I still have over on my shelf over there, because he has not replied to my email about getting the award. By the way, the Logan Awards are going to be coming up soon later this year. Things about nominations for Comedy Music Awards will be coming up soon, and they will be presented at FumFest in Ohio later this year. Weird plugs. Anyway, moving on. Let's check this one out. Again, it's late and my brain is pudding. In Montaigne's first video, uh, they shaved their head. Um, so every time they show up with hair, it throws me off because <laughs> I I was introduced to them in that video, so I'm not used to them looking a different way, uh, and that's on me. That's entirely my bad. Uh, but you know, uh, there was a later video that I was like, that looks like Man Montaigne, but uh, they have hair. That's fine. Uh, you know, you're allowed to do with what you want. I, I recently got a haircut myself, obviously, but uh, yeah, never used to it. Uh, I'll get used to it. Uh, it'll take me a little bit, but, you know, I'm trying. Uh, so, yes, obviously, focusing more on the phone than the dude. Got it. Just... So if you're not familiar with Twerp, they are a band that is from the future, but from the 80s, but from Canada. That's at least how they used to introduce themselves. Um, they're a cosmic funk band from Canada. Uh, the band's name used to stand for Tupperware Remix Party. Um, but uh, the Tupperware company clearly had an issue with that, so they're just known by the initials 
twerp, T-W-R-P. Um, like I said before, they are often with uh, Ninja Sex Party, uh, so this is a good pairing again. The kind of funk uh, stuff that they do uh, meld, meshes well with what Tom does. Um, the robot-looking one is Javi Hogan. Uh, there's uh, Commander Meowch. Uh, and there was uh, Lord Phobos on guitar. And then Dr. Sung is the keyboardist and vocalist for the band, usually using a talk box. So... Um, those are the band members, those are the people we've seen. Uh, Javi walking, popping out of the, the doors on, I guess that's like an RV or camper or tour bus or something, just clapping and with the, the slap thing. and It's great. It's great. I, adapting to Tom's music video style for them is great. Love that. Uh, they did an amazing music video for their song Content For You where they have puppets of them that pop up and recreate internet memes and all sorts of, and what it's like to be online. It's a great song, check it out. Um, I watched it not realizing how good for comedy purposes it could have been, otherwise I would have reacted to it here. But it's it's another good one. You're such a mystery, Your binary earrings. <laughs> I don't know if that means, uh, because you're wearing two, so women are usually uh, thought of as wearing two earrings. Um, uh, I know that uh, Montaigne identifies as they, them. Uh, so there's that going along with it, with the binary, non-binary, as far as gender is concerned. But, you know, I'm not sure if the earrings are meant to be among the gender binary, or if it's actually, like, binary code, considering this is all digital and online. Um, Words have multiple meanings! Hooray! It's a fun thing when trying to decipher language. I love that, where he's like, hey, we meet in the club, and uh, you aren't noticing me at all. You're focused on other things. So, instead, I'll try to get your attention with what you're focused on. Makes sense to all of us, right? Sure. Um, love that. And again, that's going along with a lot of the theme of their Digital Nightmare album. Uh, Dr. Sung in four of these shots here. Fantastic. There's the top box. The broad band embrace. Not a broad embrace, not a big hug, but the broad band embrace. Like, yeah, again, double meanings. Great stuff. Love it. Okay, so... When I first listened to this song, I didn't quite hear this bit in the background, and this is great. Talking to your crush online, one or one, HRU, how are you? Don't feel like spelling out the word hows, but are you, those are letters, how are you? GD, I guess it means good. How are you? Good too. D Y W, spend your life with me, do you wanna, I'm guessing. Not that it's really hard to differentiate, but I, I, I think I've got it. I'm an old guy, but I can figure out this. Yes, I, I, I recently realized how old I am, because I had a colonoscopy. Old. Sung's shoes light up, I haven't noticed that yet. It's such a weird melding of, like, yeah, we used to call the internet the information superhighway, because it, it was the easiest way to get kids to understand, oh, it's like, it leads you to a dot of different destinations online, and, you know, the information superhighway gets you to a lot of different information destinations. 
you know, you can learn about, here's a, a museum's website where you can learn about a lot of things, and here's a, a source like Wikipedia, which has a lot of facts and stuff like that. But also, along the information superhighway, much like a lot of highways in the Midwest, there's a weird offshoot that's going to lead you to a porn store. You know, just having that, that simile be here of it actually being a highway and driving in your top-down desktop Cadillac. Cadillac, but desktop computer combining of those things. Why not? Um, I, it's... I just dig it. I, I dig that kind of thing. I dig that sticking with that theme and, like, mining as many weird jokes as you can from that theme. It works for me. So the lyrics uh, sung or singing are, Babe, I think I love you, but the way that they have spelled it out is babe with an eight dashes between things. I think I L zero V, no E, U 69, because it's online and everybody thinks that's funny. They're right. Uh, yeah, no, that's... Definitely have to write that one down, because getting that from memory, that's uh, weird. Just, some of these things are just, here's a computer word. Uh, electric boy plugged into my motherboard. What does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know what an electric boy is. I know what a motherboard is. It's a piece of your computer. Uh, I don't know exactly what it is, but I know it's involved with how your computer functions. What does that have to do with any of this? It just sounds good. doesn't have to have anything to do with it. It's, hey, let's just throw in a computer reference. That'll be funny. Um, <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But in the whole theme of the song, it works because it's supposed to be kind of like this is a guy trying to figure out how to talk to a partner online uh, and who is not familiar with a lot of the online things. So anything that they're spewing makes sense to them in trying to make sense of this stuff. I guess? Maybe? That's my theory, anyway, on the meaning, the deeper meaning of a lot of this. And sometimes it's just, hey, let's throw these words in there and see if they sound funny. Either one could work. I think I know what you like, so farewell. Cyberspace and Virtual Place, great great rhymes there. Um, this song is so funky. It's got such a ga damn good groove, just because Twerp's amazing, and, and they, they're they really good at that sound. Um, I actually tried a Twerp pastiche on my last album, Illinois. I have a song called That Guy. Um, I couldn't quite, I didn't have a talk box, so I couldn't quite get Sung's vocals, but we, we kind of digitally manipulated my vocals to almost sound like a talk box. I'd like to maybe re-record that to do that a little, get the talk box vocals a little better, but I do uh, have a twerp pastiche on my, my last album um, that a music video will be eventually made for. Um, so I, I, I know twerp sound and I really dig it, and, and Tom and Montaigne are singing their faces off in this song. It's one of the things I really appreciate about Tom is uh, a lot of the stuff that he does is very musical, but also very funny. And combining those two together, uh, he gets great results from because he is legitimately a great musician and a great singer. And Montaigne is a phenomenal singer. And pairing them up with Twerp is, is just a really great match for this. I, I really dig it. And I remember, actually, during a live stream, Tom was signing copies of his vinyl of his second album, and people were asking him, like, artists he'd like to, to pair up with, and I think he mentioned Twerp, or somebody mentioned Twerp to him, and actually also mentioned Ninja Sex Party, and he's paired up with both of them, so that's great. Uh... <laughs> Just 
just all this of Phobos playing guitar and then everybody else popping up in the corners is great. And Phobos on Phobos. It's Phobosception. It's Phobos in the center and Phobos on the corners. So much Phobos. I've now said the word Phobos so much, it has lost all meaning. Um, I love the way that Twerp has adapted their video style, or at least to this particular video, has has gone along with the way that Tom does videos. It's it's interesting because this is this song was released, this video was released on Tom's channel rather than on Twerp's channel. Uh, so clearly they knew that they were going to release it on Tom's channel and yeah, you did it the way that Tom does his videos too rather than, you know, trying to put it on their channel and people wonder why it's looking like this. This song is being listed as online featuring Twerp and Montaigne, not Twerp song online featuring Tom Cardi and Montaigne. Weird things like that, sometimes people want, might not be able to locate it, but since you're listing at least both artists there, or all three artists I should say, uh, it might be a little easier and you'll, people will realize it's on a digital nightmare. Uh, yes, I have blabbed to the point where I forgot what I was meaning, because it is after midnight. Hooray! It's warm in here. The house is weird. <laughs> oh baby, when I pass you by, I'm just another guy asking myself why do I try? I love the multiple shots that he does within the big shot where he's got them himself in the little weird silhouette ovals that pop up in on the shot. I, for some reason, despite it being just usually the same room and usually shot in vertical, he has a style to how he does his videos and, you know, multiple takes and insert shots with different profiles and stuff like that and the way the lyrics pop up on the screen. I dig that a lot. I dig that a lot and it's, it's good to have, again, I, I said this in the last video, a visual brand. It works. <laughs> so clearly we are putting this with the early days of online and online dating and chat rooms. I mentioned chat rooms. I don't think chat rooms are a thing anymore. They mentioned that in the song and I, it didn't even dawn on me. Chat rooms aren't really used much anymore. I mean, technically, you could kind of consider Discord kind of a chat room. Um, it has channels, but uh, the channels are basically what chat rooms used to be back in the day. You know, you had chat rooms on things like AOL. AOL had different chat rooms for different topics and whatnot. Or if you really want to go back to like news groups and things like IRC, those kind of were chat rooms or message boards. Uh, IRC was, or, or uh, yeah, IRC had had more, um, and then the news groups had more message board type things. IRC was, it was a chat program. Um, so yeah, like, you know, there's definitely the idea of chat windows and chat rooms and stuff. And the original era of online dating was all before, like, Y2K hit, year 2000. And, you know, there was a whole thing with the clocks and things thought that everything was going to shut down because of Y2K, because it wasn't able to carry over the date or something like that. And it didn't happen, because a lot of people behind the scenes fixed things so that it wouldn't. A lot of people were like, oh, it was nothing. Nothing actually ever happened because, oh, we were all worried about nothing. No, it was a combination of things. Some computers absolutely knew what 2000 was meaning, and the ones that didn't, they fixed so that it would. Meh. Ooh. Great harmonies. Great harmonies. Miss your face, 
Miss your interface. How, you guys know what those words mean. I don't need to define them here. There's no double meaning. It's just like you, when you say to somebody, I miss your face, meaning I miss seeing you. Interface, the way they interface. I'm not using the word to define the word is stupid, but I, I don't feel like defining it. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Just the little, I know, I'm, I know I'm pausing a lot, don't care. Uh, the little subtle thing of you and, and instead of having the lyric from me, just the picture of him singing the weird, the words. It's just something so subtle that is just so infinitely Tom. It's just, it's just his style, and I, I love that. <laughs> Nobody uses Netscape anymore. That's, again, a kind of bygone era, like even like AOL. AOL's still a thing, it's still around. Barely anybody uses it. Uh, I still have an AOL email. Yeah, it's, uh, it's how old I am. Uh, Netscape, not not really in use much anymore either. advertisement or the the next video up coming up being let the children watch which we just watched blocking the video a little bit since it's in the vertical uh, they don't put them off to the sides because of the way that YouTube is set up for vertical videos but uh, the double the double Phobos you can you can see a little bit in the double Phobos where the uh, crop lines are, where things, the image kind of repeats a little bit between the two images, so they didn't line it up perfectly, but still, it's a pretty great look. That phenomenal song, great videos, I really dug them, I hope you dug them too. If you want to see these videos without me yammering all over them, which I'm sure you do, check them out in the description box below. Go show Tom some love. Uh, of course, if you did like this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, like these people over here do, you can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash insaneian, where my supporters get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, and all sorts of other cool things like that. Anyway, we'll see you next time, everybody. We'll see you online. Bye. That was dumb. I don't know why I said that. Colonel Sanders, my old friend I've come to eat with you again Because a hunger softly creeping Left me drooling while I